guys, and thanks for coming back to our channel. Move over, Mike, MichaelGlass.com. As always, we want to make sure that you guys continue to receive the content that we provide. So please take the time, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, so you can always get our updated content, and it helps us out. So thank you for that. As always, we like to start off with our disclaimer, and this basically says that we're here for educational purposes, informational purposes. Any decision that you make is your own responsibility. Trade invest at your own risk so today's video is about other people's money are you down with the OPM <laughs> and as you guys know we always like to start off with a quote and the most delicious of all privileges is spending other people's money and that's John Randolph of Roanoke and sure I mean that's uh, you know rich dad poor dad uh, when he talks about his four quadrants and it's all about allowing your money to work for you and more importantly it's about taking advantage of other people's money so that you can grow your wealth and that's what today is all about so when you think about trading people kind of go through this evolution first what to trade you know they're they're at work and they're at the water cooler and someone has some ideas or maybe they saw something on tv buy 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 sell 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 you know whoever it is on tv and people get an idea and then they want to go buy and then they have to figure out how so they got to open up a brokerage account and they have to figure out how to place an order that is you know your your typical new trader uh cycle but the thing that's missing in all of that, even if you do get this great chip, and it's a good one, most are not, even if you do ha open up a broken account, E-Trade, Ameritrade, you know, all of them, um, do you have the money to trade? And the thing is, it's not just do you have the money to trade, but do you have the, the mentality to trade what it is that advice is giving you? Because what I found is that, and this happened to me myself, um, you can take someone's advice and they make a profit and you don't and a lot of it has to do with even though you took the same trade you manage the trades differently and so one of the ways we can help you with that is other people's money when you're trading other people's and I don't get me wrong you're supposed to trade it seriously but the stress factor is a little bit different when it's someone else's money versus yours so you know what to trade what most people do is they get on the Google and they do little things like, you know, best trading strategies, uh, what to trade, uh, tr try to find trading rooms. They're trying to find ideas for what to invest in. And this really hasn't changed. You know, back in the day, you had the Wall Street Journal, you had the newspaper. I can remember in high school, uh, um, um, this is the late 80s, and you we had these little contest and you're supposed to all of the stocks were actually listed in the newspaper and you can pick them and you can see what they went up and down of course that has changed now people go on Google and not only do they find Google for information about the stocks but they're going on Google to find information matter of fact let's take a look right now and so what does people do uh, uh, Apple they type in apples that doesn't even, you know, that takes you to their website. Um, uh, uh, maybe they type in uh, trading strategies. Look at that huge number of results. You know, how do you tell if any of these are actually any good? Um, maybe they type in how to invest in the stock market I mean that's actually a good search again we have even more results up here and now we're getting our paid advertisements for the different brokerages you guys scroll down uh, this is a lucky guy how do you get that video <laughs> that's great placement for him good job um, but again um, the issue is not going to be whether or not any of these 829 million <laughs> strategies are bad um, no matter what strategy you choose, you have to choose not only just the strategy, but you have to choose the the mindset and the mentality to invest the strategies right. Because a lot of times, um, these strategies require you to take on risk that you're 
mentality your mind can handle and you stop out or you get out of the trade and then you uh and then the person gets out the person who doesn't get out they continue in and they make money um you know maybe let's go to the other one trading rooms and you know we have a little less we have a little less <laughs> um but how do you know any of these trading rooms but but again, as I mentioned before, I was in a trading room, and the guy was making money. I'm not gonna lie, um, but he was taking way heat, so much heat, and I wasn't comfortable with that. And so I would stop my trade, get out of it. He would take more and more and more heat. Eventually, came back around, you know, and he make a, you know, you know, ten ticks on a, on a, on a forty tick heat. You know, it was just it was just amazing. But he, he, he was making money, but I wasn't. I was sitting in the room, and he would post this, these positive days. I'm like, but I'm not making money. And again, that goes to my point of you have to be able to choose a strategy that you feel comfortable with and, and is profitable. And, you know, uh, you know you're know, you going to hear these guru things, risk-to-reward ratio and, you know, this and that. It's not about risk-to-reward ratio. It's about your ability to trade successfully and peacefully. So what I hope that you're seeing is that your solution on what to trade or how to trade is not going to be found on Google because it's not about the system, it's not about the indicator, it's not about the room. Those are all external factors, things outside of you. And as I just mentioned, you could follow the system, you can follow a room and not be successful because it's not something that's internal deep inside of who you are. You can't trade somebody else, you have to trade you. Now, you can t trade you off of somebody else. You can f take somebody else's system, take somebody else's indicator, take somebody else's room, and figure out how you can manipulate that to be who you are. But if you haven't defined who you are, you're not going to comfortably trade somebody else. In other words, it's not about what you know. This here says that 20% of trading is knowledge. It's not about what you know. It's about the other 80% that's in your head. I always tell people trading is not hard. You can find yourself a little shiny indicator or room. Um, that's not the hard part. The hard part is discipline. The hard part is being stable and, and consistent and being present and allowing yourself to be vulnerable for losses. That's the hard part. People don't want to take losses. People don't want to take heat, trade, go against them. And so their discipline starts to go all crazy and they do things. I've always said that most of my emotional trades have lost me money. So the important thing is to understand that it, trading is not about what you know. It goes beyond that. It goes, it's really about your discipline. It's really about your stability. And so regardless of... Um, these opportunities to trade other people's money, these prop firms, if you haven't first defined who you are as a trader, you're still going to lose money and make them money. And I'll talk more about how you're making them money later. But when you look for prop firms, people let you trade their money. There's two that really pop out. There's other ones because there's also one up trading. But the two big boys are Tough Stuff Trading and Earn to Trade. Tough Stuff has a combine, Earn to Trade has a gauntlet. And you can see the links down there at the bottom. So what difference the, the two? Let's take a look. For top step, microglass.com, backslash go, backslash top step, versatility. They got a lot of um, platforms, but everybody has a lot of platforms. But what top step has is they allow you to trade both futures and forex. Now, not in the same account, but you, um, there's not a lot of places. Well, there's uh, Avier. They do uh, apiary does forex, um, but uh, top step also lets you do uh, forex. And top step, I don't have it on here, but top step lets you do micros. But again, not in the same account. These are all separate accounts, uh, but you do have the ability to do that. Another great thing about uh, Top Step is they have a great community, uh, Facebook. You can go in their Facebook community and there's just people talking back and forth. And, you, and we all know that trading can be a lonely business because you're sitting in a room by yourself. So it's nice to have these resources to be able to interact with other people. When you have a funded account, they have a funded chat also. And again, this is good to have, be with people who have passed and hear what they have to say. The negative is they change the rules. You know, when we had all this volatility picked up with the virus in March and April, Top Step froze the accounts. And if you're not budgeted right, just to have someone tell you, you know, uh, you can't trade, 
And it wasn't for a day. It was for weeks that they said nobody could trade. So imagine not making any money for weeks. The other negative thing about top stuff is rules. You know, you got to be out in the market at certain times of the day. You got to be out in the market with news. And whether or not you think that's a good thing, because certain people tell you never, you know, you should be flat during news anyway. But the point is, with top step, you have to be out. And so what that leads to is when there's more rules, there's more rules to be broken. And that leads to resets, money that they have to charge you to start over again. Now, with Earn to Trade, um, they also have the multiple platforms, um, but they're only futures. Um, they're pretty straightforward. They have one test to pass, whereas Top Step has two. But the reason why I'm not really bring that up is because it, uh, Top Step has stage uh, combine one is five days if you can pass it in five days if you reach the desired profit target in five days and then combine two is 10 a total 10 days so that's 15 days well earn to trade is 15 days period so they're the same it's just that uh, toss up makes you go through two processes and you know that may actually take you more than 15 days and earn to trade may take you more than 15 days you know so uh I do think it's an advantage though that it, you only have to go through one time uh, and uh, versus starting and, and uh, stopping again. Uh, also, there's no rules, so you can trade whenever you want with uh, Earn to Trade, and you can trade uh, micros and uh, regular uh, minis in the same account. I would say a negative for them is that there is no community. You're basically on your own. Michaelglass.com backslash go backslash earn if you want to go to there and earn to trade right now is having a 50 percent discount but it's ends today so depending on your watch this video that's why i'm not really putting it out there if you're seeing the video today it's a monday memorial day 2020 they have a 50 percent off sale right now now to get to the bigger point they both are trying to make money off of you it's great if you get to the funded trader they both pretty much have that 80 20 percent cut you make it a uh, uh, hundred dollars you keep 80 they get 20 that's the same but their business model is to make money off of you where is that monthly fees reset so again if I go back to what I said before if you have to find who you are as a trader and you haven't gotten that emotional discipline you're going to reset you're going to break the rules and you're going to give them their money because you're starting over and over again that's how to make money there's nothing wrong against them because they're still giving you access to the money when you pass. But if you haven't come up with your system and emotional discipline to trade your system, you're going to fail and you're going to give them more money. So how can we help? Well, we've been advertising a room starting here in June. Uh, Michaelglass.com, backslash go, backslash room. And we're going to try to help people pass. What do you do to the gauntlet, earn to trade combine? Come on out. Uh, the first month is going to be free as we kind of work out some kinks. Not kinks in our system, but kinks in, you know, at the time we communicate with the people in the room. So we want to get some feedback and want to test some things out. First month's going to be free, but more importantly, first month we're going to try to get everybody through their combiner gauntlet. So that's it, guys. Take advantage of other people's money. Get through uh, the one of the biggest... Uh, problems traders have especially new traders have is funds not having the money to trade well there are places that will allow you to trade their money we've mentioned two today top step and earn to trade we told you why we like one or over the other and we're here to help you pass move up with mike on most social media uh, learn the truth about money on facebook thanks guys and i'll see you next time